YouTube. What's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the preview video that we've all been waiting for, man, between the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure I go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, I watched their commanders. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So it's finally here. Okay, it's no more of the talking. All of the bye week that we had to talk about this is in the past. It's now here. It is Saturday that I'm recording this. Game time is tomorrow, and it's, it's, it's showtime. As you can see by the title, it's a playoff game in week 15 for the Washington Commanders. This is pretty much a win or go home, okay? Because obviously you're not officially eliminated from the playoffs if you lose. But if you, in fact, lose, that makes your path to getting in the playoffs that much harder. Right now, right now, we control our own, our own situation. All we got to do is win our game. But, in fact, if we do lose on Sunday... That makes our path to the playoffs that much harder, okay, and that much more unlikely. So we got to come into FedEx Field at home with our home fans. I really am interested to see how that stadium looks. Bro, I wanted, I wanted to go so bad. I really did because um, I already know it's going to be so electric. But I, I'm, I'm interested to see how this turnout looks, okay? I want to see if this is going to be the most um, attendance as far as Washington fans that we've seen in a while because this is the biggest game to date. Since probably like 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 uh like a lot of people are saying since 2012 RG3 year at home. This is the biggest game. So I'm interested to see how the crowd is gonna turn out, man. It's Sunday night football under the lights. Everybody gotta show up and show out, man. We need we need FedEx for to be rocking, bro. I need all of the commanders content creators, even if you're not a content creator and you're going, record some footage, man. Send it to my DM, bro. I want to see. On Instagram or Twitter at Why Gotti Talk Sports, I want to see the atmosphere, okay? Because the TV do you but so much justice, okay? I want to see what it looks like from phone footage and what it looks like from the stand and and how it how loud it is. I'm probably gonna bring people on. In fact, especially if we win, I'm gonna bring people on that were at the game and let them tell me their experiences. But Watch the commanders have to get this video, this 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 win. We're coming off of a bye week. Um, we're relatively healthy, as we'll get into the injury report a little bit later. But we're rather relative, we're relatively healthy coming into this game. There is no reason why the Washington Commanders shouldn't win this game. Okay, we're the better team, in my opinion. We have the more talent on this team. We're we're actually you know still playing pretty good ball. We're I want to say we're five one one in our last seven. The Giants are one one and or one five and one in their last uh seven. Um, so or or is it o five and one? It may be o five and one. I'm not sure, but they're not they're not playing good football. Okay, they're just coming off of a blowout versus the Giant uh, versus the Eagles. So very much just like them, this is this their season. Okay, if the Giants lose this game, they're seven six and one, and their playoff dreams are pretty much shot at that point. I mean, they'll just be having to depend on a lot of other people. To to win, um, I mean to lose rather, and they'll have to win out. But hey, I'm not even I'm not even looking at the Giants' possibilities. I'm looking at ours, and straight up, our our possibilities. We just gotta win, okay? We gotta take it to him. This game, Scott Turner needs to have the best game of his life. Play calling wise, you gotta be smart, Taylor Heineke. I need you to play better. No more missing Logan Tom Thomas on a wide open touchdown okay make the correct reads play with that reckless abandon that you play with when you when, when you didn't have nothing to lose okay get that mentality back if you got to put your body on the line to get the extra to get the extra three yards to move the chains to, to convert the first down do that okay Taylor Heineke is the biggest x factor when it comes to this game man he really is if we get Taylor Heineke from shoe, let's just say week two last year, Taylor Heineke, or week four last year, Taylor Heineke, or, 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 or second half of Green Bay, Taylor Heineke. If we get good Taylor Heineke, the Giants have wouldn't won't have no opportunity to beat us. Okay. We're getting some pieces back, more likely than not. Benjamin St. Juice is a true game time decision, as you'll see. As we, again, we'll get into the injury report 
uh, later. He's a true game time decision, but it's looking like he'll be back. Okay. This go round, we have to protect Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke has to be better at extending and plays with his legs. Okay. You know they want to blitz. You know they want to send five. They want to send six. They sometimes want to win. They want they want to send seven. That's Wink Martindale. He's going to blitz to the wheels fall off. He doesn't care. You you gotta know they're going to blitz, especially against us, because look at the success they had against us last last time. So you already know what to expect. Scott Turner, do what I said do last time, and I promise you will have success. They blitzed us like crazy last time. So what does that mean? It's one on one across the board. Let Taylor Heineke swing that thing. I trust my matchups, whether it's Curtis Samuel, Terry McClellan, uh, Jahan Dotson, whoever, Dayami Brown. Like, I trust my matchups against that secondary. That's, again, going to be without Dory Jackson. So it, it's looking like Darnay Holmes, Cordell Flat, and company. I, I, tr I trust my, my – and Vivian Monroe. I trust my group of guys to do them in. So give them a chance. I understand you found an identity and you want to stick to your identity, which is running the ball and having to line to keep, take the back seat and not have to pass so much. I understand that that's our identity. But sometimes you got to switch it up, especially when you're facing a banged up secondary like the Eagles or like the, like the Giants. I need some, some plays drawn up. I need to uh, Scott Turner play calling to be excellent. Let's not do a million and one screens, okay? Let's let's get our tight ends back involved, okay? Let's continue to run the ball efficiently. Let's do some play action. You know, all, majority of all of our work is out of the gun, and like it's, I mean, it's a play action. But you know what I mean? I mean, Taylor Heineke line up under center and 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 a real play action or a, a, a rollout. Not out of the gun to play action. Not the not the out of the gun. Say it, go, and then he, then he. No, I don't want that out of the gun. I want traditional. Let him line up on the center, play action fake, throw it over the middle of the field. I want one of those. But the only way you get one of those is if you set up the uh, play action with the run. So B Rob Gibby, I need y'all toting, man. We have to come out here perfect, almost. Really, we do. Because this is the biggest game, and we have no room no, no for Earth, honestly speaking. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into um let's go ahead and get into this injury report and um talk about what, what who playing and who not. So for the Washington Commander City Charles concussion, he's out. Okay, that's our only guy that's out. And the thing is about City Charles, it's like when does he play? So, like, how does he all – like, he is always hurt, and he doesn't play much. I mean, this guy was supposed to come in and be a left tackle for us. You switch him to guard, and he's a backup guard, and he barely gets in, but he's always hurt. So, he draws out. F.A. Obata, this is a new one. He's done with a finger. Um, I, I, he, left, he, he left practice early um, because he got, he, he got uh, messed up with the finger. I don't want to down, down, down play a finger because, I mean, I know any part of an injury, any part of the body can be serious. But I, I assume he plays, bro. I mean, you just tape up that thing. If it's that serious, tape it to another finger, and, and, he, and he gets to go. Bro. He's a, Come on, he's a big guy. He's a defensive tackle, man, or defensive end, defensive lineman, rather. And he he's going to play. I don't, I just don't see, see a, a case where he doesn't. Cam Sims back. He was limited Wednesday, limited Thursday, and he was limited Friday. I think he plays um, – and then the next guy, you got Benjamin St. Juice, ankle, limited all week, and he is questionable. Again, like they said, he'll be a true game time decision. So about 6, 630, 645, they'll be out there on the field, and they'll be doing a workout and getting a workout in to see where, where he's at and how is that ankle. Can he cut? Can he turn? Can he come down here on that ankle? He'll do a, a, a great amount of exercise to see if that ankle is ready to go. If not, it's looking like Danny Johnson. And uh, and uh, Christian Holmes uh, and, and company, right? Um, so moving on, next guy you got Chase Young, knee limited all week. Um, I think I think 
he'll play. And I know I've been saying that for the past month, but this is the game that I truly feel like that, okay? I mean, I truly feel like that in every other game, but it's like he's coming off of a bye week, okay? He had that extra week to heal or get right, okay? He practiced all week. He had a, 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 a really good practice and exercise throughout the whole bye week, okay? I think he plays this week, okay? But if he doesn't, like I told you in this all week, if he does not play this week, I'm done talking about Chase Young for the remainder of the year, okay? But I think he plays, okay? And similar to Benjamin St. Juice, 630, 645, he'll go out there and do a, do a extreme, not extreme, but do a good workout to see where, it's, where he's at and see how he's feeling. And then they'll make the call around like 7, 715, whether he plays or not. Next day, you got Antonio Gibson foot. He was limited all week. Uh, I think he plays. Andrew Norwell showed that he was limited all week. He plays, in my opinion. Uh, Brian Robinson quad. He's the, uh, he, he's limited all week, and he plays. And they, they don't even have, you know, their status. So when they don't have their status and it's just a mark, that means they're playing. Sam Cosme, he's dealing with uh, he's dealing with the quad, uh, ankle. He'll play. Uh, Jamie Davis thumb. You he had a procedure and a surgery on his thumb. He'll play. Dax Mill. He'll play. Jason Bethlehem. He'll play. Montez Sweat. He's going to play. And Trey Turner. They're all going to play. So again, for the most part, we're coming in here healthy with the chance to get two guys back. And those are two big defensive guys. Uh, okay. Now you go down to the Giants. Josh uh, Azuda. Neck. He's out. Okay. That's their offense. That's one of their offensive lines. He's playing. He's not playing. Uh, Dory Jackson, DB, he's not playing. Okay, Shane Lemieux, he's dealing with the uh, he's dealing with the ankle, he or dealing with the toe rather. He is out. And then you got uh, Elverson Smith. He he's dealing with the Achilles. He's a linebacker. He's on IR, so he's out. Then you got Daniel Bellinger, Rib. I think he plays. Richard Richie James, he's dealing with the concussion. I think he plays. Uh, Nick McLeod, he's done with the illness. I believe he'll play. Jahar Ward, a concussion. He's he's questionable. I think he plays. And then Leonard, Leonard Williams, he's going to play. Um, and then so is Dexter Lawrence, Julian Love, and McCoy, McFadden. So the Washington Commanders are obviously the more healthier team. So hopefully we can go in there and take care of business. I mean, there's no reason we shouldn't do that, okay? we seen these guys two weeks ago, so we know what to expect. They don't have much to offer, okay? We're the better talent. Okay, we are the better team. Okay, so we need to go out there. We got the home field advantage. So we need to go out there and prove it and show why this team is not the same Washington teams from years past. I have extreme confidence that we'll get it done. Unlike the first time we played, I was like, hey, man, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this one. I'm on the total opposite spectrum this time. I believe we'll win. I believe the Washington Commanders will go to 8-5-1 and one on the season and increase their playoff chances that much more. So, yeah, man, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. I'm out. Hey. Uh, cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, get you drop. Slide on the one where they get you locked on. I ain't stopping till I get me an autumn.